Good morning students. Today we will study about habitats of animals. In this chapter we will study terrestrial animals and their habitat, aquatic animals and their habitat, hibernation, migration. In today's video we will study about what is habitat, terrestrial animals, aquatic animals and habitat of terrestrial animals. So firstly what we should know what is a habitat. So habitat is a place or an area where a plant or animal lives and gets food, water, air and shelter like human beings. Similarly some animals need a large area like a lion while some need small area like a rabbit. Different animals need different habitat. So basically habitat is a house as we human beings live in houses. So different animals live in their houses. These houses are known as their habitat. For example a fish lives in water. So water is the habitat of fish. A grasshopper however needs a big space where it can hop and gets leaves to eat. So there are different types of habitats on earth such as forest, deserts, mountains, polar region, oceans and fresh water. We know that different animals live on different places. Some animals live on land or some animals live in water for most of the time of their life. So animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Similarly, animals that live in water are called aquatic animals. So today's video we will discuss about terrestrial animals and their habitats. So definition of terrestrial animals is animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Example as lion, bear and giraffe. So <clears throat> we will discuss about the different habitats of terrestrial animals. First one is forest, deserts, mountains and polar region. These four are the different different region or different habitats of terrestrial animals. First we will discuss about forest. 80% of terrestrial animals live in forest. So forest is the home of 80% of animals like lion, tiger, bear, monkey, birds, snake, earthworm, rat. So these animals live in forest. Some animals live on the ground, some animals live on trees and some animals live underground. So different different animals live in different types of homes like lion, tiger and bear lives in caves and some animals like monkey and bird lives on trees and rabbit, snake, earthworm and rat lives underground. So these are different their houses. Next terrestrial animal habitat is desert. So which animal is known as the sheep of deserts? You know camel is known as the sheep of deserts. What are the condition in deserts? What are the weather condition, rainfall or or we can say in deserts it is very hard to survive because there are less water or a area is very dry sandy and receives very little rainfall it is usually very hot during the day and cold during the night animals like a camel that live in desert have evolved to survive the harsh and scarce water condition what means harsh and scarce harsh means bad weather bad or difficult conditions bad means 
here is that water is very scarce and bad weather means it usually very hot during the day and cold during the night and scarce means lack of water condition that in deserts there is very very less amount of water because it receives very little rainfall now how can a camel survive in that bad and less water conditions ya fir lack of water conditions this is due to adaptation adaptation means special features of animals that help them to live successfully in a particular environment that means camel has adapted to live in desert this is because camels has flat foots and it can store water more than 7 days so these are these ad adapted features of camel now the third terrestrial habitat is mountains as we know that mountains are very cold and oxygen is also very scarce scarce means lack so the temperature on the mountain top is very low so it is a cold habitat on mountains the oxygen is also scarce and sun is very harsh on the highest peaks the environment does not support life so animals like black bear mule deer big horn sheep coyote raccoon live in lower part of mountains that's why they can survive in their habitat next terrestrial habitat is polar region why this is called polar region polar because it region is nearest to the pole of the earth life in polar region of arctic and antarctica is extremely difficult strong and cold winds blow there and temperature is very low less than the mountain temperature animals like penguin seal and walrus are able to survive the extreme cold condition because they are adapted to live in that harsh condition of very low temperature the thick fur on these animals like polar bear also provide adequate warmth to their bodies here adequate means proper as we wear woolen clothes in winters to prevent ourselves from the winter penguin and walrus have layers of fat under their skin called blubber the blubber helps them to keep warm by storing energy this is how they survive in extreme cold that's why they are adapted to survive in those extreme cold conditions